Over to Lindsay. Hey, Ben, thanks so much. So a brand new visual aid could help blind and visually impaired people. And guess what? It was invented by an 18-year-old student from Toronto. Manning Whitby joins me now to talk about his project. What an honor to meet you. Thank you very much. So exciting. Okay, so explain a little bit about how this works. So there are two systems to the device. There's the collection mm -hmm. and the communication. The, communi the collection system gathers uh, environmental information and scans it, measures it. The so got cameras? They're ultrasonic, ultrasonic and LIDAR, so okay. lasers and sound. Wow. And then the communication system is a second skin of sorts that has these vibration motors worn all over. Mm -hmm. um, and this is supposed to be worn under your clothing. So I have right here, where it's a long sleeve, and you would just roll it up, but you see that. Yeah. Oh, which so, so you've got this, so this is under your clothing, yeah. and then this is over your clothing. Yeah. So what happens when you get too close to an object when you're walking? Exactly. Around? So similar to a backup camera, the closer you get to an obstacle, the more intense these vibrations will be. But not only does it give you information about depth, mm -hmm. but also location of those environmental features. How does it give you that information? Well, so if an obstacle was coming on your left, you would feel those vibrations on the left, uh -huh. and on the right, on the right. Uh, absolutely fascinating. So how did you come up with this idea? I mean, where does this start? Uh, I'm currently in grade 12 and I've been working on this since grade 9. So <laughs> That's amazing. So I originally saw the idea of assistive technologies and kind of more specifically this like a blind navigation device in grade 8. Um, another student was working on a device similar to that but I knew it was very flawed in design and I knew very easily how to redesign it and so I took the challenge in grade 9 and started a very rudimentary model and then over the years has progressed much more. How much work goes into something like this for you? Um, Is this sort of after school, before school? Oh no, I took, I took a month and a half off of school completely. Shoot. Yeah, so I asked my teachers to make accommodations. I completely yeah. took a month, off of, month and a half off of grade 12. Um, but I'd say even during school I would work maybe 80, 90 hours a week. Unbelievable. And you were just at the, uh, the science fair, so yes. talk a little bit about that. Uh, the science fair was an amazing experience. I got to meet people from all over Canada, from different regions, see other students like-minded, similar, similar, very interesting projects. Um, a and great these are experience. like teenagers, right? Yeah. Like these are like, and, and this is sort of your spare time projects. Exactly. That's pretty yeah. unbelievable. And you were saying you, you've met people from all over the country. Some have flown in from yeah. really far exactly. distances. Yeah, there was this one girl I knew. She t had to take five flights in two days to get to New Brunswick. Yeah. It's nice to be with people that are like minded. It, it right? was amazing. Yeah, and very inspiring yeah. too. Okay, so what is next for your invention? So moving uh, without the fair or with the fair, it was always the idea to move forward as a startup. And so from the fair, I've gained a little more uh, opportunity financially to quit my summer job. And now I have all summer to work on my project, prepare it for internationals. Um, more specifically, understand what I need to work, what I need to do as a startup, where I need to be as a startup, and kind of move forward. And then once I get into first year university, have that understanding and just go at it. And how long does it take what, uh, sort of this to come to fruition for people to actually use, do you think? It's, it's very challenging at first because the cues, each of these motors are different vibrations to represent different areas around you. Yeah. So it is a bit of a tutorial and learning curve to it. But once you understand which cues, it's very effective. Unbelievable. Well, yeah. congratulations to you. Thank you very much. I understand you're heading off to what university? University. U Ottawa. There you go. So look out for him there. Yeah. He's going to be a force, that's for sure. Yes. All right, Manning, we appreciate your time Thank and you. Uh, showcasing your project. Thanks Thank so much. Thank you very much. much.